sure to check out angelsgeeks.com for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on, my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here, and today we're going to be doing a little toy haul, because I did get a bunch of stuff in stores and in the mail. So right here is a bunch of McFarlane toy stuff I recently got. And after seeing Black Adam, I had to get Adam Smasher. I was going to get the, the Mega Fig, the bigger one of them, so like the 12-inch. But I saw this one. I didn't even realize they made them in the 7-inch scale. So I picked that up, I believe, at Walmart. Also got the Rebirth Deathstroke. This is actually one of the best McFarlane Toys figures I have recently got. Same with Adam Smasher. This is a great figure. That is a great figure. I did get the game version, I believe Arkham Knight uh, Red Hood. This is the best Red Hood I think McFarlane Toys has made. And it's so goddamn lame that they don't include guns with their figures anymore. I think DC's the only like comic company that does that. Why? Like, these characters have guns. Give them guns. It, it's so, so stupid. I know they're doing it for kids, but kids now these days, like when I was a kid, don't really, aren't really that into figures, like how people my age, when we were kids, used to be into figures. That's why figure collecting, I think, is so popular today, because everyone around my age group, a little younger, a little older, are adult figure collectors. We're not kids anymore, so now we could spend our own money on figures, so that's why I feel like figure collecting has gotten so popular. I don't know why they gotta put that stupid no guns rule on their DC figures. Meanwhile, Red Hood's weapons are guns! So yeah, I found that really weird. I know Mafex Ma Mafex does it too. Any toy company that makes a DC figure, you can't include guns anymore. So, got Red Hood. There was my little rant about the whole DC not including guns with their figures. I also did get talent because I finally uh, watched Batman vs. Robin, which was the uh, Court of Owl story, and it's a really good story, and I like talent as a character. And this figure is pretty damn badass. It's a nice figure. Out of all the uh, DC Multiverse stuff, uh, Deathstroke and, and I almost called him Black Adam, Adam Smasher, uh, sick figures, man. Uh, so is uh, Talon. And then I got uh, Steppenwolf. He was a, he's on sale on Amazon right now for like 25, 26 bucks, and it's usually like a $40 figure. So uh, yeah, man, dope figure. And I loved Steppenwolf in the four hour cut. The Steppenwolf we got in the Josh, Josh Whedon cut was straight up garbage. My God, Josh, Josh Whedon screwed that movie up so bad. And then we find out, like, the guy was threatening to have, to ruin Gal Gadot's career because she didn't want to do some sexualized joke. It's like, what the hell, man? So you threatened to ruin her career? Guess we won't be seeing Joss Whedon directing anymore. Uh, but yeah, the Steppenwolf, beautiful sculpt detail. We get a, a, a nice wash throughout his armor. And I like how they added the spikes. Like, they're not really sharp. They are like a softery, softery plastic. I mean, they are, like some of them can kind of still poke you, like the ones on his feet and these on the bottom. But man, what a cool looking figure. Steppenwolf was so much better in the movie when we cut that four hour cut. Let me tell ya. All right. Yeah, that is all the McFarlane toy stuff I got. Oh yeah. Almost forgot my favorite. Uh, we got the new Shadow of Spawn here from the McFarlane MK11 line, and this might be the best Spawn figure uh, McFarlane has made uh, to date, especially with all the new stuff we've been getting. This shits all over the MK11 regular version, like the first version we got. Even the, the deluxe Spawn with Throne, so much better. But yeah, we do plan to make some capes. I think we're gonna make like smaller capes like this one. So it looks like how that looks. Cause some people will prefer capes like this. Then we will make like the overly exaggerated cape as well. And we're gonna try to make the comic one a bit different, which is the deluxe 
spawn with throne. This one, his cape is pretty much identical to the uh, MK11 one. Oh yeah, there's also the commando spawn um, that has a cape as well. Same exact cape. So um, yeah, we're gonna be working on spawn capes soon. My girl's like the only one that does the capes. So she does get backed up a lot cause it's just her making the capes. So uh, yeah, we got some spawn stuff planned. There's a lot of capes on the way. Uh, she just finished the MCU Moon Knight capes. Uh, she made more Black Adams. We got some more Green Dooms. We're getting more the white Moon Knight capes or the comic version of Moon Knight. Let's see who else. Uh, Sentry, that's another cape. That cape turned out beautiful. That's another figure I got. I'll show you the cape in a second. We are going to work on a Dr. Fate cape, but we haven't been able to find that very dark navy blue color which is on the back of his cape. The inside of his cape is that really shiny gold, so we won't have a problem finding that. Just that shiny gold fabric is pretty expensive. But we're trying to find that very dark navy blue, almost like Adam Smasher's, but I think Dr. Fate's is a little more darker. We are still in the process of the Robin capes. That one seems to be a really popular one a lot of people want. We are currently working on the Rebirth Batman capes, so the purple inside, black outside, and then SH Figuarts uh, Battinson capes as well. So there's the McFarlane stuff I got. I also got, damn it! I barely touched the table and half the figures fell. I did get a Jazzwares AEW figure, Brian Danielson. I knew I had to get this when they announced it because he is one of my favorites in AEW. I never cared for him in WWE, but man, in AEW, he is so awesome. So I did get Brian Danielson. I still, I want to get the damn Supremes, man. Malachi Black, that's the main Supreme I want. Kenny Omega, and I still need a Burt Baker one as well. I haven't seen any of them in stores. I know Ringside just got all of them because Wave 2 of the Supremes recently released. And man, the Kenny Omega looks fantastic. So does Malachi Black with his really dope masks. All right, so the last two things I got. As I mentioned before, I did get Sentry. And you can see we do have a custom cape on him here. And this is such a nice fabric. I really love this blue. Uh, but yeah, man, the cape for this figure looks so awesome. And it's a pretty cool Sentry figure. I don't know much about him. I did read up and learn a little bit more recently, but yeah, man, this cape's dope. And these are for pre-order. So that is another figurine I got. Come on, stay. Standing Sentry. Stay. All right, the last thing I got is the SH Figure Arts, the Batman, or Battinson. And this thing's pretty dope, man. I haven't gotten an SH Figure Arts in a while because I'm trying... Like, I'm still collecting imports, but... Damn, man, like, imports have gotten even more expensive. It's just insane. So I'm trying not to go too crazy with buying so many damn expensive figures. I got to save up money for stuff. So, yeah, but I had to get this, man. I really love this movie, and I wanted to get a, a, a dope uh, Robert Pattinson Batman figure. The McFarlane Toys ones, all right, not that great. They could have done that. They could have done a much better job, mainly with alternate hands or more accessories, Todd McFarlane. Uh, but yeah, man, this thing's dope. The cape is trash. And I do like how they made it, so this ugly piece up here can entirely be removed. So if you want to put a custom uh, cloth wire cape on, you can. But they only gave you wire in the sides. I don't know why they didn't put it in the bottom, because they stitched it like you could put bendy wire in the bottom, but they did not put a piece of bendy wire in there. And the bendy wire is all sticking out the side on the bottom and the top because they put too long of a piece in. So they, they, they to my imagination, still struggling with cloth capes. I mean, this is a hundred times better than a plastic cape or an articulated plastic cape, but yeah, man, they're still struggling a bit with capes because, I mean, some capes are fine when you just put uh, wire on the sides. It doesn't need any in the middle or on the bottom, but his cape definitely should have got some wire on the bottom. But uh, yeah, we are working on a cape for him as 
well. So that is my toy haul. For now, I do have more stuff coming in the mail. We have a bunch more capes that we're making. I know a lot of you keep asking if I'm gonna do reviews. I don't plan to really mess around with reviews too much anymore. I'm gonna be doing a lot of other uh, figure content, like the toy hauls, or toy hunting videos, toy hauls, uh, DIY, do it yourself, or how to make this or that. I am working currently on these sofas or couches. And this is a work in progress. It's like a rough draft copy. It's not entirely finished. You can see I got the legs on there. But the couch will turn out something like this. And I am, I'm still not finished with it because I got to glue it so it stays more like that. But I tried to do something similar to the Comic Cave Studios Iron Man Mark 43 couch, which is what I was trying to accomplish with this one. I plan to make other couches with the armrests. There's a lot of different types of sofas uh, you can make. Let's see, let's put, let's put a figure on here. Oh look, here's Sleepwalker already sitting down. Like, there we go, pretty dope, you know? And I can make them for either six inch figures or seven inch figures, so this is another item we are going to have in stores soon. Like I said, I'm still, like I kind of have the idea on how to make them and I'm still like um, learning how to perfect it. But yeah, I'm definitely getting there with the couches. There were so many different couches I made. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make them in all different colors and then I'm going to learn how to do all types of sofas. I want to do these single chair sofas. I want to try to do one like how the McFarlane Toys Morpheus figure was included with that red chair. So I want to do something like that. I want to learn how to make mattresses, maybe like uh, street lights, traffic lights. There's so much stuff that I want to make, like uh, I want to make pallets to make videos on how to make these things too. I'm not just going to make them and sell them. I'm also going to make videos on how to make uh, like figure accessories and stuff like that. But anyway, that is the toy haul video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below your recent pickups in the past week or two, what new figures you recently have gotten. My buddy and I, Star Blast Studios, we are prepping to make a podcast that we will also upload the YouTube, the videos of the podcast on our YouTube channels. So we plan on doing that. We literally just started talking about it, so we're still thinking of a name to come up with, but, but it's gonna be like all geeky related stuff like figures, comic book movies, or even certain movies, anime, new anime that came out. So there's a lot of like ideas and topics that uh, we we keep bouncing off of each other. But uh, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. We are prepping to uh, create a podcast, but we'll be uploading the videos on our YouTube channel as well. But anyway, I will catch you guys on the next episode of Terror Double 19 and I'll see you later!